So guys, I am back with yet another First Descendant video and today guys, I bring you what in my opinion is now legit the best farm in this game. Kuiper Shards, XP for your Descendant, your weapon, gold, you name it, this is by far the best. And the craziest thing about this guys is, it doesn't require bunny. There's a better Descendant to do this farm with, her name is Valby. But either or guys, I'll showcase you guys the farm, the results of it, you're doing it solo on a bunny, and I'll showcase you, you guys what it's like in a team of Valby's. The differences are terrifying. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ. Before we go any further, to say thank you for the crazy support you've showed me on this game. I'm giving away Ultimate Descendants, and as you know, unlike some, my giveaways are actually legit. So I will pick one person on a weekly basis who supports what I do, by liking my videos and commenting on my first descendant videos the more i see you in that comment section the more of a chance you have of winning i will pick and announce winners at the end of a week probably on a sunday's video so yeah good luck to everybody also guys join my discord link down below more giveaways over there uh, let's build uh, let's try and build an amazing first descendant army okay so this is the farm i've seen uh, taking place probably about from last night, I saw people doing this and I thought nothing of it really because people were claiming 600k gold per per run. It's nothing like that. So I ignored it. Then a friend of mine, Silent Raph, told me to check it out. So I did and I'll show you exactly where it is. Um, it is within the fortress area and it is this mission right here, guys, a zone a recon mission. Now, I'm going to showcase this to you on private, on hard mode. You want to do it on hard mode for maximum gains. Um, but what I will say is this is best done in a team. There's not even a question here unless you are on a crazy build where you can take out multiple ads before they spawn. I've seen a couple of range bunny builds that may be able to do this. But in regards to the best way of doing this more, more efficiently is with a couple of Valby's because they lay in that pool. What, we're, what we actually do is, and you'll see it in a second, we don't take out the boss. We take out the four points, A, B, C, and D. The boss spawns in the middle and around him is a constant flow of enemies that indefinitely spawning which run around in circles constantly taking them out and bunny it's okay you can kill them semi quickly i'm getting about 4k shards per run nothing mad each run takes about two and a half three minutes nothing mad but if you do this in a team of albies where they can lay that water down the enemies die instantly so you're earning four or five times as much in regards to xp kuiper shards gold you name it and you'll see the differences in a quick second so this is the one we want to do we're going to go straight to it and again guys like i said um, it's definitely best run in a team. I've got a decent bunny build. I mean, I've got a few things to upgrade on there. I ain't worked on range, but I've worked on skill power, skill cooldown, all that stuff. And still, for me, isn't even. it's nowhere near the best solar farm in the game. I don't want to lie to nobody. So this is what you do. You come in, you take out the four points. Just that sort of. The quicker you take out these, the better. Because the boss will spawn in. And with him, I mean, you do get unlimited ads spawning in before this point. But you want that time at the top of the screen to tick down to about i think it jumps up to about three minutes it depends how quick you can take these out uh hopefully i don't die so i'm a bit of a glass cannon here okay so they're done now now guys we just run around in circles well i run around in circles it's the fast, best up way i can do this on a bunny probably running in and out of the middle but the boss is right there and you don't want you want to make sure you don't take out the boss so it's very very important but you will come to a phase where phase where he gets the three balls above his head but other than that, when it gets to that phase, you can't really take him out unless you actually aim for the ball. So yeah, it's a little easier to do in that sense. But you'll see that it is just a constant flow of enemies spawning in and around that boss. And again, if you do this on Valby, because you're laying that water down on the floor, the enemies are spawning and dying instantly. So the quicker you kill them, the faster they respawn, meaning you can get hundreds upon hundreds of those enemies spawning in. And again, I'm trying to do this as quick as I can, as I normally fire any spot on my bunny. And um, you can see, it's still, I'm still killing a lot of enemies. Don't get it twisted. And I'm getting a lot of. Actually, you know what? When I first tried this, you'll see this. Uh, I'll play it on screen. Um, when I did this first time, I had that much loot on the floor. It crashed my game, <laughs> which is rare because it's the first time that's happened. So there's a plenty of loot to be earned from this. There's plenty of gold, plenty of kuipers. But again, it's much, much better doing this in a full team do this in a full team of bunnies it could be crazy you've got those range builds on your bunnies those farming builds it's gonna be crazy too but i still think the best way of doing this is definitely on that valby so if you've got a valby in your team um this is gonna be unbelievable just run around laying those pools down 
uh, it's going to be absolutely wild. So like I said, I saw this originally, I think it was on TikTok maybe, and I saw someone claim, oh, oh shit, I've frozen. Oh, I just died. Would you believe it? What a scrub, what a scrub. I froze and died. Well, I first saw uh, someone claim 600 gold, 600k gold per run in three minutes. I thought, yeah, I tried it and I got nowhere near that, but then I was running solo. Um, and I wasn't doing that great, to be honest. I died a couple of times like you just saw. Glass cannon bunny build. I get absolutely slapped. I'm probably going to die again. <laughs> but who cares? It's all about the showcase and the farm. Not how good of a player I am. But yeah, you've yeah, got 25 seconds left. But I tried it. I got nowhere near that amount of gold. And I thought, yeah, this is useless. Then my pal hit me up and said, check it out. Check it out. If you do it with Valby, it's unbelievable. And he told me about his gains he got. I was like, there's no way. No way. And after we've uh, these 10 seconds of run out, I'll show you that gameplay. He's running around with a couple of Valby's. His gains here in three minutes are scandalous. To a point of, I couldn't believe it. Okay, so we failed it. And what we do here, guys, if you want to restart it, we just come out the area and run back in. I'm just going to show you my results first. Hopefully, I don't die. Okay, so I got, okay, let's just say five. five. I, got, I get between five and six thousand every three minutes and about 90 to 100k every three minutes. Fair enough. Fair enough, that's fine. Not the, nowhere near the best farm in the game, but hey. So once you do that, guys, you just run out the area, run back in. Can you re rinse, repeat it again? Start it. Can you run it over and over. Well, forget about that. Let's just, I'll showcase you guys my mate's footage. Let me just end this mission so I don't die. And you'll see that the differences are unbelievable. So you've seen that on screen now, guys. Uh, he's in the team of Valby's. He's on Bunny. He's nothing major in regards to what he's doing. He's just running around, picking up all that loot that's dropping. And you'll see that he got, per run, in three minutes, compared to my 6,000, he got 22,600. 22,600 Kuiper Shards per run of him doing this how mad is that so if we do the maths here guys uh 22,500 would go divide that by three because it's, let's say it's three minutes yeah so that's 7,500 if we do this over an hour that's 7,500 times 60 that's 450,000 xp uh, uh sorry kuiper shards per hour 450,000 he also got just under 300,000 gold in doing this. <laughs> what madness is this? What madness is this? You also see, guys, he got weapon XP of 131,000 per run in him doing this. And you can do this over and over and over on a constant cycle, taking out them ads, leaving the boss, running out the area when it's, it's failed, running back in. And I say run out the area, I mean you just run like three or four foot away from the mission. Run back in. And you can restart it. That is absolutely mind-blowing. It really is. Absolutely mind-blowing. So yeah, take advantage of it while you can because you know, you know next time they're going to be onto this and they're going to nerf it. You just know it, guys. But yes, again, it takes place within the fortress area. Defense line and you want to come down to that zone. Recon mission. The vulgar strategic outpost. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.